Here we go again. Man firing AR-15 style rifle inside Target, fatally shot by officers. OPD said detectives and forensic investigators are finishing up their on-scene investigation Tuesday night, but the store will remain closed until Thursday. Target will be assisting with returning personal property to shoppers at the store Wednesday from 2 to 4 p.m. The west entrance will be open and you'll need to validate your property. There will be no shopping allowed. Everybody in, their, in the city responded to this call if they were able to. The first arriving officers went into the building, confronted the suspect, and shot him dead. Uh, the suspect is a white male. I'm going to estimate that he's in his 30s. He had an AR-15 rifle with him and plenty of ammunition. There's evidence to suggest with shell casings that he entered the target and was firing rounds. It's unknown at this time if he was firing at anybody. We did a search for any victims, customers, workers, because there were some people hiding in there. We could not find anybody that has been hurt. We did a second sweep just to really ensure it, and we're in the process of a third. At this point in time, we don't have any workers or customers or any civilians in this matter hurt okay. other than the suspect who is dead by, the, by gunshot through yeah. Omaha police. We did mean? receive, I know at this point, at least 29 911 calls for the active shooter response. Mm -hmm. And my my initial my initial take is when I came out here and heard this coming, that this is what you want. You, when you have an active shooter in your city, you want a massive response like this. So I wanna thank all the surrounding agencies, federal, county, state, and I wanna thank the Omaha police officers who responded to this matter as well. Scary, terrifying, just some of the ways employees describe the moments they heard the gunshots go off. You're in the back of the store, people scream active shooter, what do you do next? I hightailed it out of there. We, we do a lot of training on active shooting and we're lucky we got exits everywhere. Um, I had just left for my break and I was actually in the front restroom, so I heard the first gunshot go off. And um, I was concerned that it, that's what it might be, but I wasn't entirely sure. And um, that's when I got a text on my phone saying that um, to stay where I was or to run. So I texted my, my friends and family and told them that I loved them and that this might be it. Did you stay there? Yeah, the and whole time. Then, so I'm, get, I'm assuming Omaha police came in? Yeah, after a while. So after a long time, just, just felt like. Describe that moment. Um, it was a lot of relief. Obviously, they responded very quickly and they did a great job. Um, but I was scared that this is how I might die at work. It was just terrifying, to be honest. And kind of, it was very relief when the police showed up and there was a child in the bathroom next to me who was crying as well, which was kind of heartbreaking to be a part of. What's kind of going through your mind? Right now? Yeah. Um, just that I can't wait to see my family and that being in a situation like that is not something that you ever expect and it's not something you should ever have to go through. Lord, I understand you guys train for this, this type of stuff? Was that helpful in this moment? I would say yes. I mean, there is a lot of adrenaline that happens in the situation, but really throughout your whole life in the public school system, you train for events like this. So I was just clutching onto the side of the toilet, getting my feet off the ground, making sure I wasn't visible. And that was hopefully what saved me. Can you say how many gunshots you heard? I couldn't say for sure. I apologize. I didn't oh. count. <laughs> Is it kind of sad that we have to go through that this day and age? I would say yes. I think it's not something anyone should have to go through, especially when you expect to be safe at your job or your school. Anywhere. You shouldn't have to deal with something like that. What did you see when you left as you were walking out of the school? Um, I saw a little boy be reunited with his dad, who was terribly worried about him after he had heard the news that broke. And I immediately just called my mom and just kind of stared at the wall sobbing to her. Everybody says they never think it's going to happen to them. What's yeah. What's it like when it does? Well, when I first heard the sound, like I said, I, um, I, I, I was like, this can't be a gunshot. It's, it's Target. I'm at work. I, I've never heard a gunshot before. It was um, just very surreal. And when I heard my um, co-worker run by, I just I was like, oh, this is real. I have to get out. I have to get out. I have to get out. The incident is still under investigation. I'll see you in the comments, beautiful people.